Don't mind me just walking around, you know, as a as a gold rush aloe because it's it's my new favorite creature next to the, you know, thingy that's coming. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? I hope you do. I'm not even gonna iterate on that. But guys, welcome back to the aisle. So I've got some plans. We're gonna try we're gonna try and do a couple things for this video, but one of the things I wanna cover is the Primordial Tyrant server mod that they have right now where they actually have access to a bunch of like modded creatures. Some of them you've seen like the Abyssal Rex and the uh no Abyssal Spino Abyssal Spino Abyssal, what the hell? Abyssal Spino and the Brimstone Rex and like some other creatures like this thing, the Gold Rush Aloe, which I'm gonna go into depth and detail with in a little bit later on in this video more or less but they have that stuff and a bunch of custom skins as well that i want to show you guys and also also i was told about a way to get into a secret i guess dev level of sorts now every time i try and do it it crashes my game but i'm gonna try it anyways and see if it actually lets me enter the level or not now as far as this guy i mean like this thing is really strong like, I could probably bite that Spino and break its leg. I think a two-shot Spino is maybe three-shot, and nothing can damage me. Like, I just don't take damage because this is an admin dino, I'm pretty sure. So, it's not like one of the normal mutants where, you know, you could you could die from it if you had enough people gang up on you and, and you know, say no. But ultimately, it's it's this is just something that players normally would not be able to play as. And it has infinite stamina, too, which I didn't even know you could do. Like, you can actually do infinite stamina, apparently. But guys, as always, if you do enjoy the aisle, well then remember to leave a like for more, and let's check out some of these creatures. So, this is the Abyssal Rex, a very terrifying creature in its own right. It's also modified into the Primordial Tyrant server, and that is one hell of a broadcast. So, I'm going to cycle through some of these roars. Freaking screams like a demon. That's the friendly. Damn, these sounds are nuts. I like it. I like it a lot, but I have a lot of creatures to show you guys in this video, so we're going to skip past this. It is a much larger version of the Rex as well, just so you know, and there is no fall damage on the Primordial Tyrant server, so this shouldn't kill us by rights. And we're good. Now, going down the list, we actually have a lot of these other ones. What you just saw, again, is the Abyssal Rex. More or less one of the newer creatures. When this thing was introduced, mods were broken on servers, basically. So I couldn't actually use this. Now, this is the Gold Rush Aloe, which is the one I'm actually going to use for however long I, I decide to play on the server for. But this is it, my favorite skin. Hands down. I love this. I absolutely love this Aloe. I hope it has custom sounds... And from what I understand, it breaks legs very easily. I don't even think it can kill, actually. I'll find out anyways, but... Then you have the Brimstone Rex, which is one that we've seen in the past as well. And this is just your generic, I'm a big Rex, and I, I glow, and I think its roar is obnoxiously long. Yeah, this is the one that has the super long... I remember, I did a video on this, actually, uh, months ago. That... And the Abyssal Spino, I think it was that I did the video on, because these were the first mutant creatures that they brought into the server. Which, they weren't mutants at the time, but then we kind of said they were mutant, and well, we... Yeah, we did that. That's a Brimstone Rex, the Abyssal. Thunders is a very fast Uteraptor that glows in the dark as well, and they're actually really big. The Ostronova is actually one of their admin Ostroraptors that they use for, I guess, policing the server. It can break legs, and it has crazy stam. The Toxic Giga, which we had seen in a couple, like a couple videos ago, I think it is now. Um, this is the creature that I was using actually primarily for a long time because, well, it was basically their newest addition. So new they didn't even have some of the stuff set up for it. Uh, the Brimstone Spino. I didn't know they added a Brimstone Spino. Or did, did I know? Hang on. I don't remember ever seeing. That looks really cool, actually. But it's just a Spino base. Let me just see the rule. Damn! I feel like a powerhouse with this thing! Straight up, I could take on everyone! That's cool. What else do we have? We have the Matriarch! Matriarch, that sounds kind of... Inter Ooh! 
It's like an oversized shant, basically. Oh, and we're kind of fast. Wait a second. Since when? What? Did they? Wait, well, hang on a second. I'm. This is messing with me. The shant doesn't run on two legs. It runs on four legs. Oh, this is the matriarch, but wait, hang on a sec. This is weird. It, it doesn't run on two legs now, does it? Did they change it? Or is this just the mod that changes the the animation? I don't got like, okay, I'm, I might sound stupid to some people because like I don't play the shant. That's the thing. I don't actually like play this thing much. Seems like it has really good stamina too, but I don't actually play the shant much at all. So in my defense, my defense, this is I'm, I'm gonna test it out on the other shant just to see but this is new I didn't this is a surprise like I didn't I didn't expect to run on two legs this is what the uh uh parasaur I think would run as the, the, I think the parasaur whatever this is how it would run at least in arc I know this is how it runs and I mean with the way the body shaped and stuff and, and the weight distribution I mean I would assume this is how it's gonna run too you see that you see that when we turn there we go it does its it's it's four-legged stomp then, but then it goes up on on two of its legs and it goes bipedal. That's so cool. And then when you turn fast, then it goes on all fours. That's really cool. I'm gonna try the other shant. I'm just gonna see if this is a thing. Now we're the normal shant. Let me just see if this is a thing. Oh wait, hang on a second. Does it really run on? Really? That's interesting. I'll try this on a on a unmodded server too, but this is this is a pleasant surprise. And then four legs for turning. God, I gotta play these herbivores more. Have they changed anything else? I wonder, because like there was nothing in the patch notes about this guy having a, a movement change. But I mean, hell, I welcome that. And then the last one is the mother Ava, which is actually just a really fast Ava, I believe. Yeah, like you're just a super fast Ava. Nothing special. Just slow down a little bit, actually, on the sounds. I think. I hear a hint of, like, a Rex fork all in that. Yeah, you're, like, super fast, though. That's the Mother Ava. I think it's... Was it called the Mother Ava? I might have messed that up. Looks kind of cool, too, though. I will say that. It looks kind of cool. But I'm going to move on. To the Gold Rush Allo. Because that's my favorite. That's my favorite, hands down. So this is the Gold Rush Aloe. Oh yeah, it does have different sounds. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. And it's super zippy. You can see like gold dust coming off of us. That's awesome. Well, it's actually saliva, I think, but it makes it look like there's gold dust, like, flicking off. I think they should make it so the spine of this, like, as you run, there's, like, a powdered uh, gold or something, like, just going off into the wind. That'd be kind of cool, too. I really like this, though. I really, 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 really like this. This is super cool. Oh, are my teeth gold? Hang on. What? My teeth and mouth are yellow. So I was actually given a really interesting DM a little while ago about a secret quote-unquote level that was in the aisle, and they didn't want this exposed or anything like that, but I mean, I you can't just give me something like this and expect me not to expose it. Now for me, personally, it doesn't do anything. I'm not able to load said whatever up because it crashes my game instantly. I don't know why it crashes my game, but it crashes my game. I don't know if any of you will have any luck with it, and I don't even know if this is a bug. This might be a bug the devs need to patch, but if you open the console by pressing the squiggly key, for me at least, by one, and you type travel, and then you do test level, this should take you to a test level map. Now, not the test level that we see, in, you know, the, the, the host options, whatever, right here, where, like, we can host, and then, you know, we have region 2 test. It shouldn't be that. It's something else. And apparently, you might be able to spawn some creatures in that you should not be able to spawn in. I don't know how to spawn things in the aisle. Don't even bother asking me. I have no idea, but I'm gonna try it. 
Travel, test level. Let's do a capital L. Like, I've tried this with, like, AE001, for instance. And my game freezes for a second, and then it does nothing. Travel V3. It, it tries to load a file, and then nothing. Now, if I travel... Test level. It loads. There's a file... What? What? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. What the hell? I swear to you guys, this used to crash my game. It used to say an unex unexpected error occurred and it wouldn't let me load this game. What? What is this? Are we on a secret map? What are we on? There's a dead Rex here. And it's it's a feathered Rex. It's an old TSL Rex we can't use anymore. Why is there a corpse there? Why is there a Rex there? What is this map? Wait a second. There's a, a staircase here. Where the hell are we? I've never seen this map. And it looks like it's using some older assets. Possibly. Let me just climb this and see. This is a really tall staircase. The dead Rex is over there. And what the hell? This, I like, I swear this used to crash my game. I tried to do a video on this yesterday and it, I see something over there. I see something straight over there. This used to crash my game so much and there was nothing I could, I could do about it. And so if travel test level takes you here, where else could we use the console to go? What other maps could there be? Because, like, I looked through the game files for, like, two hours, and it's, like, 14 and a half gigs of data, but, like, there's nothing in the files that give me really anything. I remember this. This was on one of Don's streams. It was, like, way, way back. I think this might be old assets, possibly. Do they even have a hitbox? Yeah, they have a hitbox. But I remember so... Oh, hang on a second. Can we climb this? Oh, we can't, we can't climb up all the way. That sucks. But I remember this white building, this giant white building. And wait, what's that? Is that a human? There's a human here just in the woods. Why? What are you doing here? Can I respawn? I can respawn. So that means it's in sandbox mode. So then if that's there. What else? would be around I um hang on a second I remember a really old method of spawning things in someone explained me how to do it in a, in a DM in my YouTube inbox and I could maybe possibly get something to spawn in here but I don't know if uh if it'll work or not but that's weird. There's a human spawned over there. And a whole lot of nothing else over here. I don't know if I have administration rights on this server either. What is this? It's just server. That's all it's called. And then I'm here. I have admin. Well, I did reinstall my game too. Maybe that's what might have fixed this. Nothing up here? I get I get the feeling if I if I can get a quetz or something like that, and I can use it. I'm going to see... Guys, give me a little bit. So I just tried a bunch of different dev commands. I found the DM. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. And I remember being able to use this to spawn a human at one point in time. And it doesn't work. Summon BP human. And it used to spawn a human like right in front of you. But it doesn't seem to work anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can select a different creature after I jump off the edge of this. Because it's weird that the Feathered Rex is there. We have a corpse there as well. I don't understand why it's there. I think this could just be old testing of stuff. That didn't even kill me. Damn it. All right, I'm going to respawn. So it looks like I could choose a carnivore or a herbivore. But I think what I will do is go with the fastest creature that I know of right 
What? I loaded the Primordial Tyrants mod? Is that what was crashing me, I wonder? I was trying to load a mod? That could be it. But I mean, now we're a super fast creature that's overpowered as all hell. So, technically, I'm just going to take a look around the map. I should be able to cover this map really effectively now. Let's see. So this is the edge of the world right here. This is where everything stops existing. So then through these trees, I know the Rex was over there, but the body probably despawned when I respawned because it has a tendency to make bodies fall through the ground, which they are going to patch, I'm sure, in the near future. If not, it might already be fixed by them. Uh, but is there anything like hidden? Like, are we going to find like a secret creature? Maybe this is a level that they use privately, like outside of streaming and showing content and everything else. Maybe this is like a super secret level that they use and they have like things. Maybe they have things spawned in that we're not supposed to see yet. Can I bite you? I can bite you, but it doesn't really do anything. And then this map right here isn't really that big. Like, it's it's not all that much bigger than the test level we have today. Like, it's maybe... Yeah, I think it's actually the same size, to be honest with you. If not a little bit smaller. Nothing up here. Super weird. And... I don't think there's anything else here, which kind of sucks. I have an admin command I can try. And because I know, you know what? Respawning probably actually messed everything up. Yeah, you see the full level layer there. Yeah, so I'll uh, restart level. Now we're here. And now the Rex is right there, the dead body. I can eat the body. So that means I can eat that gore. So anything that was around here now is back on the map. Which means if there's a secret creature here, we're gonna see it. I don't know if there's, can we walk through this building? No, we can't. Actually, this building's see-through. Yeah, this must be the, the secret dev level or something, or just a level that was left in. I don't know, you guys let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section about this level in particular. I don't know what to think about it. I think this is just an old assets level that they use to test things. I could be wrong, but I do remember seeing this building and that spear on a stream, I think, one time. And only one time. No, there's nothing in this field. Make sure you keep an eye out too, because I might have missed something, because it's a little bit foggy. I'm burning my eyes to see, actually, and I don't see anything. All right, nope, I don't see anything at all, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to go back onto the Primordial Tyrant server, and I guess you guys take a look around. Tell me if you find anything. So, guys, that is it for the video for now. We got to check out some pretty cool stuff. I don't know what to make of that test level place we went to, whatever, and I don't even know if, like, we can go to different levels past that. Like, can we use the travel command in the console? to go to different locations and i mean is that technically hacking the game more or less like in a sense of the lore of the game is that us using the terminal or like using a different way a uh, different type of i don't know a different type of use for the terminal basically is what i mean because right now we can't log in but you could technically use an exterior program to bypass security measures on the terminal and that's what i would classify this as far as game lore where we use a, an alternative mode to manipulate what we want to do but i don't know i i'm gonna classify it as hacking personally for me that's the way i'm gonna see it not actually hacking the game and doing anything like the devs don't want you to do i don't think more so hacking as in like we're we're bypassing the terminal's login security where right now the system is uh restricted by the network administrator or whatever or it's restricting logins so that's the way that i look at that but you guys see if you can find any secret maps see if you can use this console to get anything else really like if i do it right now it won't, it won't even do anything. Like, it won't do it in-game. It's only at that terminal you can do stuff. So, that's that's a thing, apparently. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next video. Are hazy. It hasn't helped these hours of pain.